So, hello mate, how we doing? I want to tell you about Autonolous, OLAS, O-L-A-S. It's a mid-cap. This term AI agents, an AI agent, very simply, I'm not a tech guy, but the way I picture it in my head is an AI agent is like a little piece of software that can pull data from different points. You can program it to run tasks. And as I say, it can pull data from different points, make decisions upon on what it finds, and then action those tasks. Last run, this, I, I just automatically think, I could be totally wrong here, but I automatically think back to last run, and I think about Chainlink, I think about the Oracle hype, because people realized that the blockchain needed data, real world trusted data. So for example, Chainlink, you would be, you would have a blockchain, you'd have a blockchain project, if it needed prices or whatever, some real world data, it would pull the data from a chain link source, if you like. What OLAS does, if you imagine OLAS, an AI agent sits in the middle of that and you have your blockchain project, the agent in the middle, and then you have the data. So it can, it pulls the data, say from, say chain link, and then it can action it can run tasks, it can make decisions, and it can get that task done. The AI agent can complete that task. As soon as I heard that, I was like, what? what? It was like my fuck moment like that. That's probably going to be really, really big. Um, so anyway, I went away, looked at the team. You, you should go and do the same, but just a quick rundown. The team uh, is co-founded by a gay guy called David Minash. I think that's his surname. He was at Fetch AI, which was a quite a big AI project. He left to come and create OLAS, which is a big green flag, really, because I've seen online some of there's this argument, oh, Fetch AI or OLAS. I would always probably rather be in the new shiny thing. Look, I'm not even, I'm not, Fetch AI might be great. I haven't dug deep into Fetch AI, to be honest, but... I had a little skim over and I would just always rather be in the new shiny token. So with that said, it's a mid cap, just under 300 million. For those that don't know, it's, it, that kind of means that it can grow exponentially. Bitcoin, you're not going to 100 times your money this year. It's just too big. These mid cap, low cap coins have the power to go. 10, 20, 30, maybe even 100 times. I'm not saying it's going to do that, but it's a mid-cap coin, $300 million market cap. So a 10x would be 3 billion, 100x would be 30 billion. These are scary numbers in a bear market, but when you think in a bull run, in a full bull run, you've got your Cardanos and your bigger projects from last run going up to, the, to near $100 billion, anything really is possible with these smaller coins. So I would always rather position myself in the mid to low caps, because that's where your risk to reward is better. But that's just my risk tolerance. You have to obviously make those decisions yourself. So with that said, you can only buy OLAS on DEXs at the moment. It's not on any centralized exchanges, which I love as well, because it's not easy to get for most people. Yeah, a lot of people know how to use Uniswap now and stuff, but if you don't, it's kind of a barrier to entry. So um, yeah, it's not available on your Binance's or your Coinbase's, but the idea is you want to be in these things before they get there. And if AI agents becomes as big as I think it's going to be, these things probably will. OLS probably will get up to the Binances and stuff. So the idea is you want to be in these things before they're big. So with that said, oh, I should say um, there is a red flag people always pull up when you, you look at OLAS, and that is the FDV, the fully diluted valuation, is big. There's only like 10% 10, 10 or so tokens circulating at the moment. So that just means that there's obviously a lot of tokens to come, but this, the, the unlock schedule is long, it's 24, 25, it's, 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 it's many years to come. Personally, I don't care about the fully diluted valuation of, of projects really, because why? I, I, to be honest, let's be real, let's be completely honest. I will be out of crypto in the next two years. I will hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, there's the stuff you, you hold long run. I will not be in altcoins after this ball run. I made that mistake last time and I watched money go from, where are we, here, up to here, all the way back down to here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I won't be doing that again. 
So with that said, why am I going to care if the fully dilute evaluation of this thing, if those tokens aren't going to see the light of day for the next 10 years? But do some digging of your own. This is, as I say, this is just for you to go away and look yourself. I looked at it and it didn't bother me enough. It didn't bother me enough to not invest. I think this, I think this is probably one of the biggest opportunities we're looking at at the moment. Um, yeah, it's pumped a little bit. It's up a few X's this year, but a lot of the stuff is... Uh, everything that's the tide rises all the ships right and everything kind of came up five a few x's three four five x whatever over the last six months so i wouldn't let that put you off from looking at it now and um keeping an eye on it so i hope that helped if there's anything else you need to know let me know give me a message and um yeah oh less it's the next link I reckon it's probably going to go 30 times from here. What's that? So free, we're under $300 million market cap. 10, 10x would be 3 billion. $9 billion market cap in a full raging ball when the world's talking about AI and everyone's talking about AI agents and OLAS is the new, shiny, trusted, not, well, not seen a, not seen a ball run token that is the AI agent token. Uh, I don't see how that doesn't go into the billions, but that's just me. I'm an no less ball. Anyway, guys, hope that helps. Have a good day.